Hello, this is Pickapon TAS, and this is Let's Play a little bit of Super Mario 3D Land. Just a little bit. I'm not gonna play the whole game. Just, uh, because, well, it's a brand new game, don't want to spoil everything for everyone. And, really, if you want to see the whole game, you should go buy it, because it's a really fun game. And here we've got the very loose story to this thing. I haven't beaten the game, but it looks like there's a pretty interesting twist at this point, which is something I haven't seen in a Mario game before, really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This was the game that made me buy a 3DS again, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I got a 3DS when it came out, and then, you know, there was nothing coming out for it for, like, a year, or crying out loud, it took forever for stuff to start coming out. And when, uh... At, when they didn't really announce anything I cared too much about at E3, I was just like, oh, fuck it, I'm getting rid of my 3DS, I'm sitting this next generation of systems out. But, you know, Mario 3D Land comes out, and then Sonic Generations, and there's going to be Kid Icarus, the Paper Mario, Luigi's Mansion 2, Mighty Switch Force on uh, 3DS, where, okay, okay, I'll get one, I said. But, uh... Yeah, I got that. Holy fuck, I got hit by the first Goomba. <laughs> but yeah, I got the red one, as you'll see on the camcorder there. <laughs> so yeah, this is Mario 3D Land, and it's quite fun. I mean, uh, it's sort of a strange mixture, mixture of the uh, 2D and 3D Marios, and <laughs> it pulls it off incredibly well. Uh, like, the 3D Mario games always were a bit more extravagant in their, uh, surroundings. At least I'd like to say they are. And, uh, the 2D ones are just kind of boring and simple. And, uh, this game sort of mixes both genres together. Like, everything looks kind of barren and sort of empty, but, uh, it still looks nice like the 3D ones do. It's, you'd really have to play it to really get the feel for it, but they are merged together very well. Leaf! Oh my god, the leaf has eyes now. Ruined forever! And I missed a secret there. Oh well. And I missed another secret earlier in the stage, but oh well. <laughs> By the way, this theme song is probably my new favorite of the uh, Mario themes. Like, you know, every game has that da 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 or the do 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 you know what I mean, the main theme of the game. This is probably my new favorite main theme. Whee! Get the one up. Yeah, apparently there's a super secret end stage where you have to do a bunch of stuff to unlock it. And two of the things you have to do is get uh, all the star coins and get the top of the flagpole on each level. So, yeah, that's going to be for on a second playthrough, because right now I'm just trying to get through the game. Stage 2. And the Tanuki suit, you can't fly with it, ruined forever! But, uh, no. Actually, it's overall just as abusable as it is in Mario 3. Just, because it's really nice to have the safety net of the Tanuki suit. Like, if you have the Tanuki suit and then suddenly lose it, you're like, oh, fuck. Because, uh, yeah, it, it, it's really nice to have that. And the uh, fireballs, this is like the first time you can have the fireball in the 3D games and permanently have it until you get hit. <laughs> Just something to take for granted is like, the power-up system wasn't in any of the 3D ones, at least not in the same way it was in the 2D ones. It was sort of there in Galaxy, but... Like, it was there in Galaxy, but not quite the same way as the, it is in this. But, uh... And just, like, having a time limit in the 3D games is kind of a weird concept. <laughs> Although some might say, Oh, this is 2.5D, or 2 and 3 quarters D, because you can, like, go in all, all, all third dimension and stuff, but you can't actually uh, change the camera, so there might be some debate about that if it's truly a 3D game. Though I was thinking uh, recently is like now that uh, 3D gaming actually does exist, like stereoscopic 3D, do the 3D games we used to classify as 3D, like Mario 64, do those count as 2.5D now? Has the term been modified again? 
Oh yeah, and that's uh, Mario's new move for this game. He always seems to get a new move in the 3D games. Uh, he can roll now. And I actually did not know about that star until uh, right then. <laughs> so that was a nice surprise. But yeah, about the 3D actually, is like the 3D in this is really, really good. Like, you know, I can see how a lot of people were like, Oh, the 3D is just a dumb gimmick, you know, you don't need it. But trust me, in this, you really do get used to the 3D, and when you turn it off, it's like, man, I really wish I had the 3D on. <laughs> like, if, if you go for a while with it on and then turn it off, it's quite jarring. I mean, it's nice to have the depth in order to judge things. <laughs> I kind of hope uh, 3D platformers are a thing on the uh, 3DS. Like, and I, I, I generally don't say that. Like, I'd rather have 2D platformers, but if... We've got this 3D stuff that, you know, it might actually make the 3D uh, platformers better. <laughs> Alright, let's just do one more level and then we'll, uh, yeah, and then we'll end it. Oh, wait, no, but first let's do, uh, one of these little missions. Oh, and by the way, I do like how you can auto-save. The auto-saving is just something that was so missing from the new Super Mario Bros. games. It's like, I don't have the time to sit around. Well, okay, I do have the time. But I don't want to sit around and play ten levels or whatever before you give me a chance to save. So it's nice that they let you save after every level in this. Did you get the store medal? Mystery boxes, street pass, bullshit. Don't make me do street pass with a system that nobody has. <laughs> oh, well. Someday there will be some more games for this thing. I mean, it is pretty harsh judging it on its first year. I mean, every system has a rough first year, regardless of what the fanboys of said system might say. Oh, okay, now, this is uh, something you do with the motion with the gyro sensor in the 3DS, and I'm making it look like it's really badly implemented, but trust me, it works incredibly well. The thing is, I was in a very awkward position in order to record this, so, uh, yeah, it wasn't cooperating with me because I wasn't really holding it properly. So, uh, if you're holding it just like you would any other 3D, or just like you would any other DS or whatever, and, uh, control it that way, then it works just fine. It's just, uh, yeah, just because of the position I was in, it was acting up. Tudoki suit. And yes, uh, you don't see it, but on the bottom screen, it's just like in Super Mario World, where you have the backup power-up that you can switch whenever you want. So, uh, that's nice to have, because, you know, there are times where you'll need the Tanuki suit for certain secrets, so it's nice, just, it's nice to just have it in reserve for... Holy fuck, that's a lot of coins! <laughs> it's nice to just have it in reserve for, uh, when you actually need it. And I... I like to think those guys are sort of like things from Sunshine, you know, those bastards that stole your hat, only they're cuter now. <laughs> These platforms are really nice to have the 3D depth for. <laughs> I remember when piranha plants could shoot fire and they didn't have different colors. Ruined forever! <laughs> yeah. I wonder if that's actually going to become a staple now, is that the fire-shooting piranha plants look a bit different. Oh, and there's a little secret there for you, uh, secret collects. Do -do 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 -do. No star coin, just a hidden one-up. Because I so need one-ups in this game. It's so hard to get one-ups in this. I mean, jeez, they just don't give you enough, man. Boing-a-yoing. There are some, uh... Well, okay, there's one really nice uh, music callback in uh, the Ghost Houses. If, if you liked Mario Galaxy, then uh, you'll love the music that's in the Ghost House. Because I, like, I don't show it off here, but that was one of my favorite moments so far, was going into the Ghost House and hearing that particular song make a comeback. Of course, it sounded a bit different, because, you know, it wasn't orchestrated or whatever, but it still sounded really, really good. But yeah, those overhead shots are really where the 3D helps. I mean, the 3D is really, really useful in those overhead shots. 
And we're gonna fly with Tanuki, or float down with Tanuki. You can't fly, ruined forever! Boom. Nice waterfall in the background. Yahoo! Well, okay, I think I'll end it there. And, uh, yeah, Super Mario 3D Land is a really fun game, and... I don't know if you should buy a 3DS just for it yet. I say wait till there's a few other games first, then buy it. So, see you later.